Hello everybody, welcome back to the CSL. This is week two action between Kennick and Hummingbird. This is game two, with Hummingbird taking the first game after a failed baneling bust by Kennick. And um, last game I solo casted, but this game I'm joined by two lovely people. Um, lovely people. <laughs> no, Pants doesn't realize we're casting in here. Um, but Narwhal, say hi. Good. And Meek, say hi. Hello everyone. So, did you guys see game one? Were you watching it? Uh, I tuned in just at the very end. So what did you guys think of it? It, it was, the Hellions were very sad. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just, Kednick's my team captain, so, you know, I have to root for him, and then when he is 20 workers behind, it makes you very sad. <clears throat> so yeah, especially so early in the game. So... I will admit that I don't know if I agree with Kennick's choice of not vetoing this map against Hummingbird. <laughs> well, he picked it. Well, yeah, yeah, no. Kennick picked this map. He, he vetoed Antigua. And so the reason is that Antigua is easier to scout. Like, this is Wait, just... Wait, why would you veto Antigua? It's a great map for Zerg. Well, no, it's not, it's not a good map for ZVZ. I mean, some people don't like uh, ZVP and ZVT on it, to be fair. That's more just like an opinion thing, but just pragmatically against a random person. Look, I mean, he raised, he already missed the scout once, so he's not going to know this is an FFE until it's too late. Um, I mean, I think Kennick was planning on fourteen fourteen anyways, which which was kind of what he did. Which then I don't, I'm not sure if sending out the drone that early was worth it. Ooh. Actually, he was almost in time to block that that fifteen nexus, which would have been very nice. Um, so we'll see what his plan is here. I actually don't know. Do you know what Kennick usually does on this map against Protoss? Meeks? Uh, no, I've never seen him play on here. I've never seen him here either. Uh, personally, I don't really like uh, this map for ZVP because it's starting to take a, a quick third. Yes. That's the other thing, too. I, yeah, in general, I, Antigua is well, a little better know. on this map. I see, honestly, I don't know that he's planning to go for the late game. I mean, games with Hummingbird tend to be very fast-paced, so... Uh, I'm going to take a guess right now and say Hummingbird goes for uh, either a 6 or 7 gate Blink Stalker all in. Yeah, like Hummingbird, when he plays Terran, he tends to macro against Zerg. He likes doing the traditional like quick 3cc bomber style. For CVP, whenever I play him, he always just gate all ends me, so... Yeah, I know he does like Blink Stalker all ends on this map, so that's what I'm expecting. Pretty good. Not going It is, yeah. So, let's see here. Looks like Kennick's drone's coming back. Chasing away that probe. Probe's gonna be able to get in and see everything right now. Um, Baneling Ness. So he's gonna go for a Baneling, uh... Bust. Yeah, and set that probe's gonna see everything. And this is gonna be the world's worst oh, he, Baneling Bust. He cancelled it. Did he cancel it? He did cancel it. Yeah, he did. Okay, that was the wise thing to do. Probe is not gonna see anything. I think the probe actually saw the cancel juice. He he's not producing any zerglings. That's really baffling. You need to deny this guy if you're gonna go for a bailing vest. Yeah, no, I don't think he saw anything. That's good. Well, I mean, it's already too late, oh. right? Right now, just what, again. Oh, the probe might see try. it. The <laughs> <laughs> oh. is, is he gonna see it? Nope. No, he did not get in range. All oh, right. The bus is yeah, on. Yeah, no, baby. he has no idea. Yeah, so the wall is in. Uh, only one cannon. It is a full wall. Oh, uh, it's a full wall now. Oh, but he's, he's got a second probe going out, so he's gonna see this coming. Yeah, so goodbye, Hummingbird. That's unfortunate. I was hoping Kednick would attempt a macro game here, although... Well, he still, can... he's got the Zergling setting out. Ooh. No, well, that... one's gonna catch it. Oh, uh, what was on move command? That sucks. That That's sucks. the funny thing about Humming. That probe yeah, Humming, is... Humming's so good at all ends that he's really good at stopping them, too. Well, I mean, this yeah, is they all good walked scouting right in past general. That probe. This is yeah. well, they're all walking past the probe. They need to get the probe. Get the probe. Get the probe. No. Go. It, yeah. No. No. The probe doesn't matter at this point. The probe. Was this is gonna get completely stuffed. Out. Yeah. This is. Yeah. Gateway going down. Second cannon, going behind. So I mean, no, that's not enough banes to break both things actually. Here's the attempt. He gets through. Wow. No, he. Yeah, you but, guys but, get through. But, but, oh, yes. oh, two banelings. But another no, going no down. banelings. Oh, God. Yeah, I think he should have put up more cannons. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Hit. He actually wins. 
Uh, not quite yet. Oh no, those but were- sorry, I thought well, it was like a cannon that, there. Those yeah. are all probes. They're dead. Oh and man. And it's been take this. It's incredible. Kegik? Yes! Good job. Yeah, I think the main problem here was that I'm afraid I had a really bad wall. You can't use pylons in the wall like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, and that's the game. One zealot comes in to try and save the day, and that's it. <laughs>